to another Trojan Horse production. January 4th, 2C. Maximum Secure Compound, National Penitentiary, the Philippines. Good morning, sir. Sir, is your name Boy Negro? Yeah. Hi. You used to be in the military, yes? Yes. Um, now, you're an artist by profession, or did you acquire this ability since you came in the prison? In the prison only. Only in the prison? Only in the prison. Now, I believe you're the founder of Kulai. Yes. Can you explain in English what does Kulai mean? Also speak in Tagalog. Color. Kulai. Kulai in, in English is color. Uh, that's color. why. Because I believe the prison society, the prison itself, it's good, it's not bad, because I believe that we born, born uh, we born naked, uh, we educate by our culture, the culture is very important to everyone, because the culture is the, the mirror, it's the mirror of Okay, now, sir. Director McCullough at the moment is pushing for rehabilitation rather than punishment. Do you support this cause? Rehabilitation? Yes, sir, I support. Lovely. Now, will you, you will say that the BUCO is giving every, every consideration to your project? Yes, because the BUCO Bureau of Corrections, they support the, the prisoners to, the, the, to, to see a hope. A hope? To see the future. Because, well, that's marvelous. Because time will come that the prisoners will be free uh, and to the, uh, um, Okay, they will be free in society. But yeah. the main thing is, there's an inner meaning. They've got to be free. And only Jesus Christ can set them free. Yeah. So, let's, everybody, praise the book. Let's look at the book of Acts. Acts 4.12. There's only one Savior, only one name, and that is Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this is Boy Negro in action. What he's doing now is wood burning. This is an art, basically derived from the city jails and national the penitentiary maximum and medium security. Now, can you tell me what you're doing? Let's look at this. Is it a transformer or is it a regulator? It's a voltage regulator by the look of it. It, it transfers a current so it stabilizes in order to, uh, similar to electric fire. Now, this man is gifted. He will take a photograph like this. Now this, it looks like a British man and he's married to a Filipina and he's got two beautiful children. Now this man has commissioned Boy Negro to make a wood burning portrait of this picture. Now in my opinion, this wood burning is it's hours and hours of tedious work. Now let's look how he works. He's transferring this and he uses a magnifying glass there he's got the man, there's his child, can you move this picture? Right, so now we're looking at the whole family and the project is only halfway through. Here he is burning it. Tedious work, every detail goes in, every detail. Wow, let's look at this, look at the beautiful baby. Is that a bambino or a bambina? I don't know, I think it's a boy. Now here is a bambina here, look, wow. And look at his wife, isn't she Maganda? Now Maganda means beautiful. And he is guapo in English, that means very handsome. What a lovely family. Now sir, on my left, can you see the Trojan horse book cover? This is a Trojan warriors, objective setting captives free. Now this picture was designed by Michael J. Clark. And the, it was inspired one day, six months ago, when Michael was requested by his brother David to design the book cover. He had this vision, and one day he walked around the compound and he was directed into Kulai, group of artists, on the other side of the maximum compound. And there on the wall was the very thing. But it wasn't quite right. So Michael quickly spoke to one of the officers in charge and he relayed the vision and he quickly gave an artist impression. So here we have, means the whole world is in bondage. 
And the only thing that can set them free is the Word of God. Now, the Word of God is very simple. Trust in me, and you'll have eternal life. Now, here's a full armour. You'll find that in the Bible. Everybody is in bondage. Look at that man sitting there. What's going on, he says? I don't know. In the Philippines, he's going bullion. He's going crazy. A candidate for Ward 4. That's exactly what Satan wants you to do. However, this man here is been freed. But if you look on the left-hand corner, you've got sin, like an octopus, pulling them back. However, Satan has already been defeated. Already defeated was written in eternity. Trust in the Lord and you will be saved. Oh, praise the Lord for his glory. And there's the Holy Spirit that's injecting power into you. Power, power, power. Praise the Lord. This very morning, on January the 4th, 2003, Michael Clark was in building 11B, looking at the site where he's going to construct a substation office for the Trojan Horse International Christian Ministries. The superintendent of the maximum security gave permission only yesterday to grant this very opportunity. David Clark is already the pastor of the PMP inmate prisoners. Now this man here, Boy Negro, Boy Negro, thank you very much for giving Michael Clark this wonderful gift. Now let us look into the picture. To me, you can read message after message, but this is the eternal flame, the eternal flame of glory, the eternal flame of peace, peace which can only come upon you by trusting in the one and only Jesus Christ. Look at his eye. If you are under his protection, who can be against you? Trust in this Lord and he will protect you and your family for eternity. Now eternity means a different dimension. It is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. There's no beginning and no end. If you trust in this Lord, he will give you everything in this world to survive while you're in the flesh. This man is being gifted. This very man here, Negro, boy Negro, you are gifted and you pledge your talents to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now let us look at this. He's working with it. Wow. Let's look at the inscription. Let's look at this inscription. Let's look. A gift to Michael J. Clark. Thank you for your vision and action. You're a miracle in this prison society. 4th of January, 2003. Now let's look at this very special inscription. And this was inspired today. Let's look at it very, very carefully. For God's glory, not ours. Amen. Here's a signature of the artist, Boy... Boy Negro. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the vision. The vision is this. We are connected to email. We've got a website. I will show you the website on the screen afterwards. This man, and he's got many workers. There are actually 12,000 men in maximum security. 1,000 men languishing in death row. Many of these men are gifted. They will be only, willing, only too willing if the prison director allows them to have this special equipment and to use the power of the buco. That buco means the uh, Bureau of Corrections. If they can allow them daytime electricity, these men will work and dedicate the profits to the Lord. All they'll take out is a meager allowance to buy themselves a little bit of ulam, that's food. Maybe some soap, some toothpaste. But their satisfaction, and I think if you look in the book of John, chapter 17, it's when you serve the Lord, he will pay you back a lot. It's a reflection of his glory coming back from serving the Lord. Lord, this man here, Boy Negro, he's an officer. He's also a military man. He knows discipline. He knows moral values. This is what we're trying to instill in our rehabilitation program, spearheaded by Director McCullough. He's also a retired colonel in the army, and he's pledged all, all his support to any, any body or, or organization that appreciates rehabilitation rather than punishment. He's also supporting halfway houses, parole, parole, pre-parole projects. Now, boy, sure. let me 
look at your work, what you're doing. Now, this is quite a quite a number. Now, this is this is Boy Negro. My daughter. Wait, w this is Boy Negro in the military. Wow, how many years ago was that? Uh, Thirteen years old now. Now, is that um, is that an M16 or what? Uh, this sir. Yes. Uh, yes, M16, sir. Wow. Now, this is his family. His two beautiful children. We're looking at. Wow. Two little cheeky monkeys, my goodness. Now I'm sure they're Gisa. not really Macalet, but they, they just miss their father to death. Jisa and Linit. Oh, what a good. Now let's turn the page. Turn the page. Now this is his wife. What's her name, sir? We are married here in prison. What's her name? Uh, Marielita Parba. What province is she from? Cebu. Cebu. That's an island if you, for, for the case of the um, foreigners. That's a beautiful island. Now the next one. This is a marriage. No, turn back again. No, turn back the page. We've got your marriage ceremony. Wow, that's solemnizing your wedding. What a lovely, happy day. Turn over again, sir. Now, this is this is Boy Negro in his portfolio doing some work. My, my daughter. Growing. Oh, let's turn the page. Turn the book up so I can see the picture. Uh -uh. Wow, the sun's on there. Let's let's get this in the focus. Uh -huh. That's in focus now. Right, that's wonderful. Now. Now let's flip the pages very quickly because we're running out of film. Uh -uh. Right, now this is some of his work. Now that, I don't know what this is, could in focus. Farmer, sir, in the a future. A farmer with a carabao. In the future. In the future. A uh, concrete word. Oh, a concrete word. That's the, that's the world of flesh. People can't understand it. What they've got to do is to get in the spiritual realm. Uh, to get in the spiritual realm, you must put yourself to Christ and he will, unre will reveal many wonders of his kingdom which was formed in eternity now the next one what's well, a little boy independence sir independence what a lovely now next page sir now there's another one now look at this it says a man and he's got a burden on his back and that's a small child and in my opinion that means if you trust in child in christ there's no problem there's no burden and the next one is wow this is him i think he's like your father or a portrait of who uh clinton Oh, President Clinton. Yeah, here that was uh, Nabit, Nat, 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 Oh, I see. This is my second lieutenant Popo, okay, no Galman. Oh, yes. Okay, quickly turn the book over. Just flip through the pages. Wow, these are all work. Next page, next page. Good. Good. This is Malang, sir, Malang. Wow, who? Malang, our national artist. National Art. Oh, oh I yes. Malang, we, he came in prison. And he, and he, and he uh, congratulated Thanks. you on your good work. Yeah. Do you know his address? Yeah. M maybe we can send him a, a copy of this video. I think he'd appreciate that. And then maybe yeah, come yeah, sir, to yeah. endorse the actual jacket of the CD we're going to produce worldwide. Oh. Wonderful opportunity. Next page. Wow, let's look My at this. My daughter's message. Oh, let's look at the message. Daughter's message. Read it. Papa. Dear Papa, speak in Tagalog. Uh, Papa, kumusta, kumusta, kumusta ka dyan? Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka lagi? Uh, nako, I love you, Pa. I miss you so much. Pag, oh, I should be in Tagalish. Wonderful. Pag binutan, uh, be, be good. Oh. Ay, mag binutan, ma, because mag binutan sa siya diri. Mm. Sulat perma na ko. Write, write me always. Oh. Did she come to visit you? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Now I believe you li you live in the military barracks um, under Maestro Videl Maestro. Yeah. Now that man is. Did you know that Maestro has been incarcerated for t over 12 years? He's never got a bad bad mark against his name. He's a chairman of many societies. He keeps low profile, but he is concrete. He's got power. He's a good leader. Now Maestro has been my dear friend for five years. He is also the liaison officer for the Trojan Horse International Christian Ministries. His wife, Gloria, who we call the Queen of Diamond, is our coordinator. These people, together with my wife, Belinda, will negotiate at a high level in the Department of Justice to get your speedy release. We will help all these inmates. Wonderful to the Amen, glory of God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, whoever you are, whether you're Filipino or American, or Chinese, Japanese or British. We, the, Christ, the Trojan Horse International Christian Ministries, are pledged to devout our times to prisoners. Because the problem is, not the problem, is the gift of God is, God allowed both myself, Michael Clark, and Reverend David Clark to be criminals 30 years ago. 
We have been there. We've wore the T-shirt. We can relate to prisoners. He allowed us to go to prison. In fact, he orders us to go to prison in order to generate the prisons. We've already got an established prison ministry with the BG BJMP. BJMP means Bureau of, um, Bureau of Jails Management and Penology. There's 1,500 city and provincial jails scattered throughout the, throughout the archipelago of the Philippines. We've got now um, support from the highest directors and, and uh, superiors of the BGMP. We've got an established mission, missionary already in Baguio City. We intend, upon release of these prisoners who pledge their life to Christ, we will finance them to be satellite officers and pastors, evangelists in these city jails, leading these prisoners. Some are not guilty, some are. Never mind, they're all prisoners of society. Society is under the control of Satan. Now, what we intend to do, to in order to support these uh, prisoners, we need to generate cash. Now, this man, Boy Negro, has got a wonderful gift. He can do these drawings in charcoal or wood burning. All I'm saying is visit our website. Visit our website, it'll tell you what to do, how to send photographs, and we will do this by mail order, and you can pledge your money to Christ. It's a worthy cause, it's, it's a charity, and you will get something on your wall. This will be delivered by post in a matter of four weeks, a price you can afford, knowing that all the profits, all profits, will be going to continue our international Christian ministry. Now, Reverend David Clark is on fire for the Lord. Now, that means to be on fire for the Lord, you must be born again. That's completely it in a nutshell. Trust in the Lord and he will supply all your needs. Now, this boy Negro, I am going to work with him very closely in the next few months because I'm due for liar. That means release. Even when I'm released, I'll be an RBO. We are going to make this man an officer of the Artist Center of the Trojan Horse International Christ Christian Ministries within the Buco. Sir, thank you very much for this interview. Thank May you. God bless you and your family. You. Welcome aboard, Trojan Warrior. This is Michael J. Clark speaking once again from the MVP Maximum Security Program. Boy Negro, thank you once again. And want to thank you to Director McCullough. Please speak in Tagalog. Thank you, McCullough. Speak in Tagalog. Thank you, Director thank McCullough. You. Uh, thank you, Sir McCullough, for, for supporting the Pauli Group of Artists and me, myself. And, uh, uh, sa pagkundad ng bilangguan eh, kami nagpapasalamat sa iyo oh. kasi and oh. special thanks to Ramon Lewag the Under Secretary of Justice and Jose Calida for giving your support all to God's glory thank you, Amen